I'm back today with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 15 the model 7559 and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can upgrade the hard drive and what are the combination of the hard drive you can have and what are the recommended combination that you can have in here you should have this is a you know, almost brand new but this is a 2000 I believe 17 model but it was in the box they never used it so I'm going to open it up and show you the combination and what you can have in here. Just remember, as soon as you upgrade the main hard drive to a new drive, you're not going to have any operating system on the new drive. So you need to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. And I have made a video how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. Also, I made a video how to install it the proper way on any Dell laptop. You can follow those links in my video description that you can see on the bottom. All right, the tools that you're going to be needing is simply a screwdriver set. I recommend you guys to grab the iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. These are made of S2 class steel. That means they will last you many years. You're going to be using a Phillips number one. All right, on the bottom of the laptop, there's only one screw at the top mid. So you're going to loosen up the screw. You cannot remove it completely. You just have to loosen it until you hear that click. Next, you want to put your fingernails at the bottom if you have any. I'll cut my fingernails, so I'm going to use a guitar pick. Put it underneath and lift it up towards the ceiling. And then you want to pull it towards the back end. Here's the bottom casing. All right, right down here, you're going to see a whole bunch of stuff. The battery, the mechanical hard drive, and there's an empty SSD M.2 PCI Express right in here, which they include you nicely, the screw for it. So you can remove this screw right away, this tiny screw, put it to one side. Now to do any upgrades, you do not need to remove the battery at all, it's absolutely not necessary to remove the battery, but for those people that are really paranoid and they do want to remove it, it's simply, you just want to grab this jack and pull it up towards the ceiling. And that's how you disconnect it. So you can do this safely without disconnecting the battery, just push it down and push it there. To remove the mechanical hard drive right in here, there's a four screw that holds the caddy, two on the back and one on each side. So go ahead and remove these tiny screws. Okay, once you remove the screws, you can go ahead and lift up the hard drive from the corner, bring it up and grab it. Now there's a little tiny flex cable that goes right through here. There's a little flip thing right in here. You can grab this plastic thing and pull it up towards the ceiling. Just grab it and pull it up, just like that. And there you have your mechanical hard drive. This is one terabyte Seagate hard drive. Uh, you can disconnect the adapter by pulling the adapter backward, just like that. Put it to one side. Now, you can grab a 2.5 inch SSD hard drive. This is one terabyte Kingston hard drive. I recommend you a Samsung brand, Samsung Evo. Those are really good, tough brands. But if you want a cheaper version, go with a Kingston. Now, you can't just put the SSD in there. You need the caddy to hold it in place, so otherwise you just move around. The caddy is being held down by four screws, two on each side. So you want to remove these two screws on this side and two screws on the other side. All right, once you remove the screws, now you want to put the SSD or the another hard drive, whatever you want, in the same orientation. Make sure the power connector and the SATA connector are facing the same orientation. So you grab this one and slide it out, put it to one side, and grab this new one, put it right in there. Make sure the screw holes match. It's a low profile and the caddy will have a little more space. That's okay, just as long as the screws holes match and just screw it down, put all four screws.
All right, once you have the new SSD right in place, you want to grab the adapter. The adapter only goes in one way, so you can't put it that way around. You just have to rotate and push it right in there. Bring it down in an offset position. First, you want to push down this connector straight down the same way that you pulled out, the same way that goes in. Just align it, sit it down and then push it down straight right in there, make sure it clicks in. Next, you just want to sit down the hard drive right in there and put the four screws so it holds it in place right in there so it doesn't move around. You can put up to two terabyte SSD in here without any issues. Also, if you guys like my video, if you find my videos helpful, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. All right. Now, down here we have an M.2 SSD. That means you can grab a PCI Express NVMe SSD out up to 2 terabyte. I would recommend you with 1 terabyte. So, you can put this one in. There's a little notch right there. And there's a little notch right on the jack right there, you can see. So, you want to put it down in 45 degree or 15 degree this fell down inside the jack all the way in it just does kind of soft click and then it becomes like this and then you want to push it down towards the screw hole and screw it down and i recommend you to install the operating system on m.2 and keep another big ssd right over here so the file transfer in between them are uh, super fast if you have a mechanical hard drive right in here your file transfer will be as fast as your mechanical uh, drive, not as fast as your NVMe drive. All right. This one is for demonstration. The client only wants to upgrade the uh, SSD right over here. So to pull it out like there and put the screw back over. There we have it. And the last thing down here would be to just put the bottom cover and uh, you can start formatting, installing your windows. Put the back end down, I mean the front side. There's a little tiny clips on the front. You want to put those under the palm rest. And then push down, make sure you hit some tiny clicks on the side. And the last thing is to tighten up the screw on the bottom cover. Again, I hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.